warning about solo women's travel. Um, so I wanted to do a longer video because um, when I hear about people missing in Guatemala and other countries, I just, you know, there's a caveat about solo travel and you have to trust your gut. It gets down to trusting your gut. So it's, I gotta say, this is a warning. When you're younger, beautiful, hot, and dressed somewhat provocatively, especially for third and fourth world countries, honestly, you get too much attention. I used to as well. Because I started when I was uh, 49 and I was in shape, no wrinkles. <laughs> I get a lot less attention now and I love it. Um, because you can, uh, it's more stealthy, which I prefer. So you do get a lot of unwanted attention. So I got to put that out there for the youngsters. Um, because it's not even anywhere near like it is. Um, and we still have problems here in the United States, Australia, and Europe, of course, with, um, People, you know, take, trying to take advantage of you. It's not equality yet. We got a long way to go. Um, so there's that. So you want to dress very modestly, not the way that you would here in the States. Like <laughs> when I was gone 10 months in India and Asia and did one of my last round the planet tours, <laughs> I came back and I was dressed in Indian clothes because that's what I wore in India and it's very modest and I was I, I spent the night in uh that central station in New York City. Oh my god, I was so shocked. I was in the Amtrak waiting area and these girls that have been out at clubs were half dressed. You can't do that in third and worth call third and fourth world countries. You absolutely cannot do that. You cannot show your boobs. You can't show all your legs. You can't, you just can't, or you're going to invite trouble. And that's just the truth. So there's that. Then, um, and I'm not saying it's your, it's the person's fault, but you can't do what you can do in your own country and all these other countries. So that's something I have to make very obvious right now you you don't have the same women are not like some of the very sexist countries india mexico even although it's maybe changing a little bit um let's see any country in asia really um it you can't really do all that you can't act like you're from your first world country in clothing dress attitude okay so the next thing is like i haven't been drinking for a while and i'm a lot more clear and this helps a lot when you're out by yourself because you're um your intuition is kicked in strong and it's not it's not covered up by um, people being nice to you in a scam kind of way. That's happened to me so many times. It would take three other videos <laughs> to describe all the time people were nice to me and were actually scamming or wanted to until I figured it out. And I have been scammed a few times. Um, so it happens. Because the thing is, when you go to this other country, they figure out that we're not as careful as the women in their country that wouldn't give them a second look because of what they're doing. We're trying to be diplomatic and nice to people. Like, So if you have a bad feeling about somebody, just get the heck out of there because it's not worth it. You don't need any more evidence other than your feeling that it's not the right 
thing. So this is going to be longer because I, I really feel this is important because I just heard about somebody missing in Guatemala. And I lived in Guatemala and rented a house on the lake where she disappeared. They mentioned the city I lived in too. It was a, a village. And I have a feeling I know where the yoga retreat was because there was only one yoga retreat place there, which was right down the lane from me. There weren't roads. You had to walk. <clears throat> and I got to say, <clears throat> I looked at several houses to rent. And they would be up some, like, mountain path. And I'm by myself. One, I remember one of the last ones was it was completely windows. This was a very bohemian <laughs> house and I kept turning all these houses down and that one I'm like do you have any window coverings no it's a guy living there it's like you know don't listen to people that aren't that didn't do what you if they're not if they're a man traveling by themselves it's completely different than a woman traveling by herself we have to take more precaution so I'm like, no, I don't feel safe. And he kind of scoffed at me. It's like, I don't care about your reaction to me because I'm the one that's going to be running this place, going up that dirt path to get to this house. They just want to get your money. You know, this was another foreigner. Uh, what happens in Guatemala is a lot of times people go back they leave in the rainy season. They want to rent their house and they want to have it there when they come back in the nice season. So you're going to be putting up with the torrential downfall of rain, which I did. I stayed in the rainy season and I liked it, but lots of break-ins in um, San Marcos. It's like a hippie bohemian village, um, but there's crime. So, you know, you can't be too cautious. I mean, for myself, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to those places anymore by myself. I don't feel safe. I don't have, um, there's a lot of things, minuses. It's like, you can't always get internet, um, connection. Your phone won't always work. Like those are not good things. Like, yeah, I like to be off grid, but not for more than a couple of days. Uh-uh. I like having facilities. I like getting to the library. I like getting to, um, get an espresso. I like being able to get gas. I like being able to have connection and, you know, stuff that I've done in the past, I wouldn't do again because now, even though I'm getting less attention, I think it's important to, um, <clears throat> know that I'm happy to get older and not have that kind of attention as much because it was really too much. And you can get, um, once you've traveled a bit, you get more understanding of when you're trying to be scammed because other people have tried it. And once you they try it, you know for the next time. So be safe out there. If you're traveling by yourself as a woman, let people, <clears throat> let people know where you are exactly. It's easy to do, usually. Um... But it's not always available because the connection isn't as good. That's something people are like, oh, I use iCloud and all these other apps and stuff. It's like because they don't connect all the time in these third and fourth world countries. So you can't count on it. So you better have Skype or something where you can. Well, that's based on being online, too. So you have to have precautions and take care of yourself. Because it's you. You don't have anybody else taking care of you. So you can't be too cautious. And I never make videos like this. But, you know, after seeing what happens to people sometimes and they go missing, I got to put it out there. So don't stop traveling. Just be careful. Check out where you're going. And don't rely too much on what other people say that haven't done what you're doing. So you want to talk to people that, you know, like talking to people, if they're going to go to Guatemala, there are certain risks um, that are different than other countries about Guatemala. So speak to someone that knows what they're talking about. Oh, and by the way, I do one-on-one -on -one consultations. So we get on the phone and I answer your questions. You want to change your lifestyle 
have an epic trip, uh, get in touch with me. So, yeah, have a wonderful day.